video uh, explains and outlines a job that I need uh, to have done. Basically, uh, I'm selling a digital download, a digital course on my online store in uh, Shopify. There's two versions. There, this is the DVD version of the course here, um, but the the version that the, the, the version that I'm looking for is this, the digital version of this uh, product called From Ragtime to Rock. Uh, essentially, the purchase will happen on Shopify. The link will go and open up the shopping cart in Shopify for this item. However, when they purchase the item, uh, they will be taken to Kajabi, or this is what I want to happen, that, that the purchaser uh, be taken to Kajabi uh, where they can view this course and essentially in the course content they um, wait sorry if I preview the course that would be better they'll be able to um, look at the course and download it's a very simple course really all they're doing is downloading this document right here uh, this this download so I want to make this integration happen between these two on in, in, Integramat. The reason why I don't want to use Zapier is because um, there's more than one step involved, so they charge. So I can use Integramat's free service. The only issue is that on, on Integramat, uh, they do have Shopify included as one of their built-in apps, but they don't have Kajabi. So something must be set up. Um, from what I can tell, it's using the JSON um, uh, means of integrating uh, between um, Shopify and Kajabi. I've already done some work, so this um, will be called Integration Shopify. I can say to Kajabi. That's what the name of this um, this scenario will be called in um, in, integra in Integramat. So essentially, um, this is what I need to do. And uh, I guess in both Shopify and Integramat, I can set you up as a, um, you know, give you certain permissions. Uh, I'm, oh no, yeah. Um, but in Integramat, I don't think I can do that, but this is the only um, integration I'm actually doing. I'm using Integramat for. So that's the scope of the job.